Here is the GoPro dive housing. And as you can see, it comes in a typical GoPro box, clear, uh, with a little bit of text about the product. Going to the right of it, included items is the waterproof dive housing, protective lens cap, tether string, assorted mounting hardware, meaning just the bottom pieces right there. Um, we'll look inside the box in a second. Here's the back, optimized for underwater video and photo capture. Why would you get this? That's exactly why. Um, if you haven't learned the hardware, hard way, like I did, I actually took my GoPro out. I've been filming in swimming pools and whatnot, and the clarity in the swimming pool was actually fine because it's only you know a couple feet and whatnot, and visibility in a swimming pool is predictable versus like this, like the ocean. Um, the other thing is in the ocean, you're going to be a lot farther away, and it's going to become more important, the uh, clarity of the lens and the flatness of it as well to allow the GoPro to focus appropriately underwater. So if you haven't found out the hard way, you need to get a dive housing if you're going to be filming underwater uh, a lot, um, even though you have the waterproof housing for like swimming pools if you're going to do ocean, um, especially clear waters like that, it's beautiful, running around along rocks, kelp beds, uh, you, and you want to film it properly, you need, you need a dive housing. The dive housing features a flat lens to improve maximum photo plus video sharpness underwater in all resolutions. Ideal for diving, snorkeling, or any underwater film scenarios. There you go. Compatibility with HD Hero, so the Hero 1, HD Hero 2, and all GoPro mounts and accessories. It's waterproof as well to the 197 feet, 60 meters uh, rating as well. There's uh, another picture about it. Learn more. Let's open this up. Rip this all apart. Little box of accessories is going inside here first. Let's open this up, and you have the assembly for the case, which should be straightforward. Uh, in a different language, uh, talks about the limited warranty down there, preventing water damage to your camera. Let's see briefly the rubber seal that lines the dive housing forms a waterproof barrier that protects the GoPro camera in wet and underwater conditions. So keep it clean. Uh, a single hair of grain can cause a leak, so keep that clean. Fa failure to follow these instructions obviously could damage or destroy your camera. So read over that for a second. You have the dive housing lens cover. Protect that flat lens. Let's pull this out. That clips in. It also has a tethering point right there. And here's your tether cable. Zip locked in. And it is about a hand's, hands length long. Should be good enough just for the lens cover. So let's open up the rest of this, nothing else, and pull the casing out. There is the dive housing outside of the box. Now you don't, obviously you can put on your own, uh, your own GoPro mounting setup that you have going on. The flat lens looks like it could be replaceable just like the other GoPro lens. Uh, these look like star hex. Um, not sure what the size is, but you could replace that flat lens right there. Pretty cool design. I like this design versus a lot of aftermarket uh, blur fix lenses and whatnot that's out there. Um, this one looks pretty darn well built, as you can expect from GoPro. Here is the way the lens cover would, would go on. Sorry. Boom, just like that. And it has that little cutout so you can still access the button, turn the camera on and off and whatnot pretty tight spot um, especially if you are wearing gloves really deep so probably not a huge deal but definitely something to think about and let's figure out how this tether goes on
So the tether, um, I would just go around the base of the GoPro mount, just like that, um, and then pull itself through. Go around the base of the GoPro mount and just pull itself through. So go around with around the base of the GoPro mount like so and pull itself through. And we'll use the cleaner side. Oops. Try that again. And we'll pull that loop just right through. And then you'll end up with this side. And what you can do is that hole on the lens cover just feed this loop through it. Boom. And you could feed the lens through it. Through the cable. Cinch it down and you have the lens cover attached to the base of whatever GoPro mount you you decide to use. Put your lens cover on there and you're ready to go. Of course you open it like so just like the normal case put your GoPro inside and then of course like the instructions say make sure even the hair or a grain of sand and whatnot make sure this is nice white clean place the GoPro inside uh, if you're using a different backing obviously you'd replace the backing for like your battery backup GoPro Wi-Fi and all that close her up and you are ready to go that's a quick look at the GoPro dive housing. Also, it comes with a second tether, just FYI. Thanks for watching.